Hey, good morning, friends. Brad Smith from the Way Church of Clarksville, Tennessee. I pray that you all had a blessed week in the name of the Lord and that you are already setting your hearts uh, to get together with your brothers and sisters in Christ this weekend to worship Him because He is worthy of all of our great praise and honor and glory. Amen. Uh, so, hey, this weekend at the Way, we're back in Ephesians chapter 5. And really this weekend, my intentions is to my intentions are to get you women in line. You women are out of line. You're out of the box. And so my intention this weekend is to get you back into the box. That you women, you need to, you need to quit your jobs. You need to get at home and take care of the house. And when your man gets home from work, you need to have a, a meal ready for him. You need to have the house cleaned. You need to be about the business of raising babies and making babies and raising babies. And when your man speaks, you need to listen. When he tells you to do something, you need to do what he says. I'm going to speak on behalf of the patriarchy this weekend. How does that sound? <laughs> now, of course, uh, that's not what I'm going to do this weekend. Uh, but I'm making the point is that as Christians, we cannot allow the world to hijack clear biblical teaching. Because the world does that. I see it happen all the time. The world hijacks clear biblical teaching and distorts it and twists it up and makes it into something that it was never intended to be in order to discredit God, in order to discredit the scriptures. And so we cannot let the world do that when it comes to the clear teachings of scripture. But at the same time, we cannot be ashamed of the clear teachings of scripture. And I see this happen all the time. And it really makes me sick to my stomach when you see Christians who feel like they need to apologize for what the Bible teaches or somehow account for what the Bible teaches or make qualifications and caveats uh, for clear biblical teachings. Listen, the Bible is good. The teachings of the Bible are good and we cannot be ashamed of what the scripture teaches and we cannot allow the world to shame us into somehow having to account for clear biblical truth. That's not what we ought to do. And so we should unashamedly teach these truths. I mean, I'll unashamedly teach that homosexuality is a sin. That cuts across the grain of our modern day culture. But the Bible teaches it. And you want a caveat. You want me to make a qualification and say, well, yeah, what about these other sins? Well, I don't need to do that. I mean, I can, but I don't need to because the command is there uh, uh, about homosexuality. I don't need to account for predestination and election. The command is there. The teaching is there. It's clear in Scripture that predestination and election are clear biblical teachings, as is the doctrine of eternal conscious torment in hell. Now, some of these teachings are challenging. Maybe they are difficult to understand, but I cannot deny them, and I cannot be ashamed of them, and I cannot let the, let the world or even the church make me ashamed of them. Gender differences. God created them male and female, different in gender, with different roles, with different assigned jobs. I'll tell you right now that the, the, the office of pastor is reserved for men, and, and office of pastor or elder, and I will teach that unashamedly because it's good. It's in the scripture. We don't have to give a caveat. We don't have to give a qualification or somehow account for it as if we are ashamed of that teaching. And so this weekend we are talking about submission. Ephesians 5.22 says, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. Uh, or be subject is a better translation. And again, this is a clear biblical teaching. And so we'll give that exhortation. We'll dig into what does it mean to submit? What does it look like to submit? What is biblical submission? And we'll see that biblical submission is a good thing. It's a righteous thing. It's a godly thing. Uh, but again, we cannot allow the world to co-opt uh, this clear biblical teaching. Now, the, the, is the topic of submission difficult? Absolutely. Uh, and really, in the grammar there, it's interesting. There's no actual command in those two verses anyway for the woman to submit. It's a description. Uh, it goes all the way back up to verse 18 where Paul does give the command to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then in verse 21, he describes that as one of the ways he describes that is with the participle submitting to one another. And then he gives 
uh, the ways that we submit to one another, wives to your own husbands as to the Lord. Now he says children submit to uh, your parents, servants submit to your masters, but in this particular text, this wives submit to your husbands, and it means submit, it means yield to. It's got a connotation of uh, the military and, and soldiers arranging themselves in formation underneath of a commander. It's the same idea that the, that the husband yields authority uh, and leadership, and, and we can't be afraid of this teaching. Again, it is good. Uh, and, and again, submission does not mean subjugation. It does not mean subordination. It does not mean oppression and domination, all these other things that we're afraid that it means. Uh, but again, we've got to love this teaching. And if you don't love this teaching, then there's something wrong in your walk. So hey, this weekend at The Way, uh, we're going to be talking about really for the next three weeks that your home is a witness. Uh, how you do things in your home uh, is a witness to the Lord Jesus. And this week I will be speaking directly to wives uh, in the exhortation to be submissive, uh, but also to husbands with what that means for us as well, as well as to uh, single men and women, what that means for them as well. And so again, if you have a church or you need to find your church, if you have a church, go and worship with them this weekend. If you're in Clarksville, come see us at The Way. And as always, if you are a man, take your families to church and have a great weekend. God bless.